It is unarguable that our generation is at the height of the digital world. The fact is that players spend a lot of time besides playing games and doing some other shady business that concerns many. While video games can improve your IQ and give you a fun time, they can also get you addicted to other activities. Is it true? Stay tuned to find out all the important unanswered questions that need to be answered about gamers and their habits. First up, what are online casino games? Online casinos are digital replicas of land-based casinos. They are often referred to as virtual casinos or internet casinos. Gamblers can play and place bets on casino games through online casinos. It is frequently used as a type of internet gaming. Several different online casinos provide you with a distinctive experience. There are numerous interesting games at Knock With Casino. Depending on the app, players can play live or online and earn real cash without safety issues. So why are gamers more likely to play online casino games? The internet has been the home of many addictive games, such as online casinos, which have attracted quite a lot of people. These games are thrilling and are designed to attract people. A player needs to be aware that once a person starts playing, it is hard to quit because of its dynamic graphing and promotions. These games have grabbed the attention of players for a long list of reasons. One reason why gamblers and gamers prefer online casinos to offline ones is the ease of gambling. It saves time, money, and resources. You don't have to put forth any additional effort to play online. You also don't have to waste time or money traveling to the casino. There are no additional fees to be concerned about if you plan to play for real money online. Unlike in some offline casinos, there is no pressure to purchase drinks or snacks because the rules are transparent and easy to comprehend. You have a wide variety of games to choose from compared to offline gambling when one venue just has a few games. There are sports you may bet on as well as online casinos, so betting is not simply limited to those venues. Even if they might not be popular in your country, many sports exist. We cannot forget limited distractions and safety. These options can force a gamer to enjoy the ease of home rather than go out. Next step, why are video game players more likely to participate in a bet? Gaming and gambling are fairly comparable pursuits. There might be more similarities between them than you think. The primary distinction between the two concepts is that in gaming, success is determined by ability rather than chance, whereas in gambling, the opposite is true. Researchers have developed a framework to aid in differentiating between these activities because of the overlap between these activities and the recent rapid increase in these activities. Seeing that both are common, it is very likely that a gamer will be attracted to the game and start playing. As said earlier, gambling is addicting, and if a person can make money out of it, it is hard to leave. While people usually play games for entertainment, gambling can be a way of making extra money. Although gambling is riskier, it still provides thrills and income, but only if you have luck and tricks up your sleeve. Games are now played more often than online gambling for money. According to studies, young adults and adults who play these kinds of games may be more likely to have gambling issues later in life. There is no evidence to support this, but it might be because of how similar some games have evolved to become like gambling. Additionally, the number of people who bet on various video games have grown in numbers in recent years. The combination of these two might increase player excitement for gaming and gambling as well as participant rates. Next off, do interesting online games motivate children to become gamblers? Gambling is a term for enjoying oneself through expenditure. Children have the same exposure and effect if they have no protection against these gamblers. By purchasing from the gamblers, children and teenagers can enjoy their preferred avatars, characters, and weapons. Children gradually develop an addiction to video games, which promotes gambling ideas through game purchases, surprise gifts, special offers during certain seasons, etc. These features help kids experience the joy of gambling through video games. The research discovered that video gamers are 4.5 five times more likely to gamble in online casinos and are 4.3 times more likely to bet on sports and esports. Next up, do online games provoke children to commit suicide? People manage their emotional despair by playing online games, but the extreme use of online games for a long time may isolate individuals from real-life relationships, thus resulting in severe mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, and restlessness. Researchers say that gaming and suicide have a close connection. Online gaming is a word adored by all young people and detested by most parents. We are all aware of the struggle that parents are facing because their youngsters simply won't get away from the screen. The gaming world has evolved so much these days that gaining access to a game is only an installation away. Even though we are all aware of the enjoyable aspects of gaming, there is also a darker side to it. Every action taken in excess has a negative reaction, and excessive gaming can result in addiction. A study by Baum et al. found that that a 
addicted gamers have acute depression, social anxiety, and miserable family lives. They also reported gamers being less friendly and emotionally less stable, as well as having extreme anger, regret, and jealousy. Another study by Wittek et al. 2015 showed that video game addiction was also positively associated with neuroticism. According to the Interpersonal Psychological Theory of Suicide, Joyner 2005, people become capable of resisting the pain and worry associated with a suicide attempt through habituation to distressing or threatening stimuli. This capability is referred to as an acquired capability and is comprised of both pain tolerance and intrepidity about death. That's why game addicts, especially teenagers, may attempt to commit suicide over minor mistakes. So, what are the consequences of online casino gambling? When a person continues to gamble despite harmful consequences that may affect their well-being, relationships, or finances, they are said to have a gambling addiction. Gambling addiction is when a person has an urge to engage in gambling, betting, and win at any cost. It can have devastating effects on both the gambler and their family. Gamblers can access games and betting opportunities directly from their devices with just a few clicks. And for those who have a gambling problem, it might be simple to hide how frequently and where they gamble. Playtime is limitless. Gamblers have access to sites that are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. With this amount of freedom, people get carried away, lose their sleep, and become sensitive to losing. Unregulated websites, fraudulent or unregulated gambling sites may take advantages of players and can be hard to track down and take action against if problems occur. A person may become agitated and resentful if they lose a bet, which is all part of the game. So how does gambling drain you financially? Financial issues are usually the first external sign of a gambling problem. When gambling becomes unmanageable, the problem gambler will spend even more money, trying and often failing to win back losses. Many problem gamblers think that money is both the source of their problems and the answer to them. So they keep gambling despite their losses because they think that one more big win will solve all of their issues. Sadly, because addiction is an emotional illness rather than a financial one, there will never be a big enough win to end the problem of addiction. That's why many gamblers adopt criminal acts to get money and often fall prey to vindictive organizations. Next up are online casinos gold diggers. Uncontrolled gambling websites that are fraudulent may exploit players, and they can be challenging to find and punish if issues arise. Personal information, including credit card and banking account numbers, may be susceptible and available to hackers or con artists due to the possibility of unregulated websites. To advertise gaming websites and deals, third-party partners may also receive access to contact information. There is a gambling aspect to the addition of loot boxes to games like FIFA. Players buy a bundle with no idea of what they will receive. This element of chance is analogous to spending money to spin the reels of a slot machine in hopes of winning a prize. Gambling websites and games try to loot people of their money by creating awards to draw their attention. A video game element known as a loot box is a sealed mystery box that can be opened to reveal a random assortment of in-game things like weapons or cosmetic costumes. Loot boxes are sometimes purchased with real money and sometimes obtained through playing the game. Using these boxes, online casinos excite players with new deals that are not usually worth it. Gambling sites utilize these awards to drain out as much money from the players as possible. Resultantly, casino owners become richer and stronger and gamblers lose everything they possess. It is no secret that gambling once started is almost impossible to leave. Winning games can be achieved by skill and success in gambling is simply luck. And there you have everything you need to know about gamers and gambling. Make sure to share your thoughts down below. What do you think? Do gamers have a higher chance of gambling? Are gaming and gambling the same? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching.